All right, so we took off the casing. So we're gonna be pulling this through from the bottom of the car with the string that we pulled through. Pulling the old one out. And I'll show you how it's doing. All right, so I tried to skip this part um, without removing this piece. This is the one the fuel line sit in and the depth system where the injection line sits in as well. Uh, so we try to skip it without removing and make it a little easier, but I guess I would remove this first Because we had a hard time getting this line out through the bottom So once you remove this plastic casing, it's a lot easier and just do it the rope the way I did it It's super easy like that um, So we disconnected We disconnected this line you could disconnect them down there and There's those clips I uh, kind of had a hard time getting to an aperture, so I ended up disconnecting it right here, and the other one's right here. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. So I end up disconnecting this line. Alright, so what we did is we attached the string. We opened up this plastic casing as much as we can, and... the bottom we took the splash shield off okay. and this is the hole that the rail or the rail this has to go through so we were not I wasn't able to find any information on how to pull this through how the dealer does it nobody talks about it top secret so what we did is we attached this piece of rope or string and we pulled it out towards the back of the car so now we're gonna attach the string to the new one to the same part and we're gonna hopefully pull it through all the way to the front out in that area so it stays the way the factory was meant to be because otherwise, if you won't be able to pull it through, you're going to have to run it on the side. And I'm not sure if it's a good idea. So so this is like right by the driver or the front door. And this is the second part that goes to the back. So this is where it connects. This is a new one. We end up taking off the shell casing off the front uh, front piece because this is where we're gonna attach the rope string and pull this out, hopefully without damage in it. And I will tape this up right here so this doesn't get ripped off. And this is your rear with the plug. So we couldn't decide which way to do it. Um, 
I think this way, pulling this out to the front would be the best compared to this. This is a little bit fatter and it has this big plug on it. And this is just by itself. So just make sure the hole is closed off so nothing gets in there. And I do have the clip, uh, clip is in the box. So there's gonna be a clip, so just make sure you don't lose that. And just give it a few tries, don't yank on it, don't pull on it, obviously it will damage it. So just be patient with it. It's kind of difficult to record it all the way down there. So now we're just going to put the casing on, put the clip in. And it's good to go. I'll take this piece out. And I'm just gonna clean this up. And that's it. So this is the clip that goes in.